Hi friends. Good morning. Sabrina Kathleen here. The wellness lawyer. Um, I think it's morning. It might be afternoon. I've been up since four or maybe a little before four. So you kind of, I lose track of hours and the time. Is anybody else like that? If you're up all day or up all night or whatever. And you, time's irrelevant anyways. <sighs> Who cares? Golly, I come off on the weirdest ways, I swear. <laughs> Someday, maybe I'll be different or not. Who knows? Anyways, I come to you today because I don't know if anybody else is feeling this way or not, but um, the end of the year is here. I can't believe it. It's like December is right around the corner <laughs> and Christmas and all of that and then the new year and um, all of that. So I, anybody else think that the year went really way too fast. I know I do. I'm like, where the heck did it go? So I'm like, we just started this. Oh, and last year I had so many good intentions of things that I wanted to do. And hey, I'm not complaining at all because I had a very successful year. I'm really excited about it. Um, the success I had, in fact, I'm looking forward to more success this year. <clears throat> but that's not the reason why I was here. That came off kind of smug. I wanted to talk to you about having no regrets because that's what my devotions was about today, the 19th. It was talking about no, no regrets and not wanting to have regrets. There were still things that I didn't get at um, this year, but again, I'm not going to beat myself up over it because what's the point over it? You know, the year's gone, so let's just focus on what we have now and go forward and be the best that we can right now and be appreciative of everything that we had. I had a lot of gains. Look at me, I'm able to move so much better trying to get a little bit more comfortable. Oh, still waiting to hear back um, from my MRI. So we'll hear about how that goes. But I'm happy right now. And I'll take it. And that's awesome. But what I wanted to do, look at me all scattered all over the place. I hope you love me for that, my scattered brightness. Because <laughs> that's how I am. I was talking about today was the 19th. And I love this love out loud. Hi. Um, and it says, obviously, I wrote it on the front, but he who gains wisdom loves his own life, and he who keeps understanding shall prosper and find good. And that's Proverbs 19.8. Uh, and it talks about how regret is the primary um, thief of our joy. And um, hi, thank you for joining me. And how the world is just full of people living with regret. And I don't want us to be one of those people. I want us to charge forward and just be our best at every waking moment. Um, it was saying here that living with an attitude of sorrow and regret simply robs the people of the joy um, that they could experience in every day and hope for a better um, tomorrow, which is, you know, obviously, right? Um, but when wrong choices cause regret, we need to deal with it and let them teach us um, how to make us better for our future choices. And so that's the beauty of it. You know, there's really no mistake or no wrong answer. You just learn from it. So no regret, right? And then the other one was talking about, um, you know, that's what I was saying. Just, it's awesome, right? We did what we did. We had it. We celebrate it. We go with it. We're grateful for it. No regret. And then the other one, the confident woman was talking about, if I can get it, I've got my one hand holding my cup because it's nice and warm. Um, oh, a blameless heart. No, that was yesterday. But today about doing it joyfully. Um, hi, birdies. You hear my birds. That's why I have to be outside. The sun shining and the wind. I was listening to the wind um, go through the trees. And now the sun's coming out and I love it. Um, about doing it joyfully. How, uh, is this Joyce? Yes, this is Joyce. She says that she makes it a game of trying to beat the devil out of um, sucking the joy and the dread and out of everything. And I think that's so wonderful and that's probably why I related to her for so long is because I like that little game too, is going along and smiling at strangers to see if you can get them to frown, turn their frown upside down by smiling, right? <laughs> do you ever do that? I do, I think it's a blast. Um, and that's what, uh, she was talking about was beating the devil at his own game instead of sucking the joy out of everything. If we can um, turn it around and know that greater is he that lives in us than he that lives in the world. And we can um, 
believe in it without fear and without worry and without dread um, about others or anything else just to go along and live and be and do and enjoy and give and I dropped my bookmark um, you know and just enjoy what we have and be grateful for it because it's so magnificent and wonderful and sometimes it's hard to get even in that mindset of catching yourself when hey sis catching yourself when you are in um, caught up in the moment of whatever it is and wanting to revel in the pain or the sadness or the fear or the anguish or whatever it is and that's okay we can do it we can say oh my god this sucks you know but always find another way out of it you know like well I just picked it sorry the fact of my hip keeping me down I got to do other things so I was always grateful and um, you know you guys can do the same thing I think that everybody um, probably could and should use that little tool, <laughs> right? That's what he says for us, is just to know, so to flip our thinking, our stinking thinking. Uh, so, a lot of times it's hard to even realize, you know, that we, you can catch yourself or you want to catch yourself and you know that you're thinking off and you're like, wait a minute, why can't I stop this crazy train? And a lot of times it's because we're not having our gut brain access communicate and all the, the neurotransmitters and the serotonins and the endorphins and things that we produce in our stomach aren't communicating with our brain that needs those things. And so our poor brain is out there on its own trying to do the things that it needs being suffocated because it doesn't have you know, it has, has doesn't have what it needs. So the beauty is science now shows us that we can fix it. It's fixable. It's doable. So we can help our body and our body doesn't have to struggle so much. And that's the beauty of it. So cheers to microbiome. <laughs> right. Cheers to flipping the switch. Cheers to finding the positive light, the positive good. Oh, I'm bending. Oh, but look, it didn't lock. And I got to bend that far, but it's going to spasm. <laughs> ah, so much joy. Ah, but hey, you know what? It's not as numb as it was, and it's not as painful of it as it was. So I'm bending the spasm. So what? <laughs> right? I'm still outside. I can still walk. I'm not having to crawl. So those are all good things for me. Rejoicing in that. So do whatever it takes to make you have happiness and joy and wisdom and I was going to reach down here again and show you my little fun trinkets <clears throat> whatever it takes right so wisdom and worthy you can hang on to them and feel it how long is it going to take for you to get joy even if you don't have it all the way in your heart or in your head or on solid you could carry it in your pocket <laughs> Hold it close to your heart. Whoa, I did it again. Sorry. <clears throat> I have slippers on out here. And they're bigger than what I'm used to having my feet be. <laughs> so, anyways, you can hold joy in your hand. Right? Can you see it now? Into your heart and in your pocket. <sighs> and the wisdom that you can put to use. I guess I can put my cup down. It was keeping me nice and warm. But whatever it takes, right? Whatever tools you need to keep you mindful and thinking about where you need to go in life and what 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 it holds for you. Um, and this next year, gosh, you know, it's just a few days around the corner. So let's hold hands and um, run and go and be awesome in 2020 and get all of our goals accomplished. I know I have big things. What about you? What's your dream for 2020? Hmm. I've got big plans. I am going to do a back bend and a back flip. I don't know how or yet, but I visualize it. I have been locked up and stiff forever. Um, I told you before I couldn't even move, and I can move now. Um, I'm having a little hiccup, but that's through healing. Through healing, I think things come up and that are, are released, so I have learned. Um, <clears throat> so I am learning to deal with that which is no worries because it just takes me to somewhere new. So don't be afraid of the darkness. Don't be afraid of the things that are scary. Um, it's all right. Look into it. Find out what it is that's scaring you. Find out what's making you sad. Find out what's terrifying you. 
and, and face it because there is where the light is. And um, sometimes if that's too much for you to do, I get it. It's okay. It's a lot. But um, we could at least get you aligned so that you can take baby steps to get there. So there's always new levels to go. But you got to start somewhere, right? So you're worthy of it. Isn't that what he said? Worthy and wisdom and love and joy. So if you don't have it all the way <laughs> yet, you can do whatever it takes to get it and put it in you and keep it inside you until it becomes you and, be and you become it, right? Oh, that just gave me goosebumps. Maybe I'm cold or maybe it was good. I don't know. <laughs> you got to use whatever tools you have though, right? Mine is obviously um, laughter because I laugh at things. I do cry. My poor babies, man, during this. Um, hi, thanks for watching. They have heard me cry out, and I don't normally cry out. I, I try to keep my um, suffering inside. <laughs> but I've actually been reduced to tears and reducing, reducing, <laughs> reduced to having to cry out in pain. And it's funny now because they're just like, they know that there's nothing that they can do. It's just mom's in pain, you know? And um, it's interesting, it's been interesting, this journey, but hey, it's a process, so not to worry. And do whatever it takes to get all that in you, right? Whether it be a rock in your pocket, <laughs> a bookmark, a table, weight, whatever it is. <clears throat> Hang on to it. Love yourself. You are worthy. We can get there, right? It's all a matter of flipping the switch. And it can be done one moment at a time, one breath at a time, one thought at a time, one day at a time. So this too shall pass, right? So it's all a learning experience. It's all good. We're golden. We've got this. Okay? No worries. I love you. Love yourself. You're worth it. Okay? Okay. Toodles for now, lovey bugs. Take care. And I'll talk to you soon. Hopefully this had some value to you. I'm not just rambling. If it does, let me know. Thanks. All right. Bye again.